Well, welcome to the next episode of Posh Sauce, where everything is posh and extremely saucy. Of course, because it's posh sauce. <laughs> so welcome to the next episode. And I just want to say thank you for joining us on this next episode. And before we start talking about the sauce picks of the week, and of course, we will be doing flutes and boots. If you have watched the previous episodes, you'll know what's coming. Uh, but before we do all of that fabulous stuff, we are going to talk about how you can connect with me because I love y'all and I want to talk to y'all. So if you want to connect with me, ladies and gentlemen, you can do so in a variety of ways because I'm fabulous. I try to be anyway. So we've got the Join the Fan Club at Patreon. So if you want to get it on a Patreon, you can indeed. And basically it starts with like, I think, a quid or a dollar. It's not a lot of cash. If you want to join and show some support and love, you're more than welcome. And I do reply to all the messages on Patreon, or at least I try to anyway but yeah that's the most common one where I do get my messages to reply to and then we've got the fabulous TikTok. We all love a bit of TikTok. If you're watching on TikTok, we love y'all too. And of course, Instagram. Now, Instagram, as you all know, it's one of my faves. I love getting the pictures. I love putting the comments and the likes. So InstaG is just quite easy. I like Instagram, love it. TikTok, nice and cool. We like TikTok. And of course, Patreon. But where would we be without YouTube? We need YouTube because we love YouTube. And on that note, the more support we can give the fabulous people at YouTube, the better. Better, which is why you get all of my episodes on YouTube and you always will all being well uh, but yes if you want to follow and connect you are more than welcome on Patreon on TikTok on Instagram. We've got the website too, so if you want to join us on the website, ggfridayofficial.com, and the website's going to be getting bigger and better over the coming weeks. If you've previously seen the Friday episodes, you'll probably realise that Gigi's going to be filling up that website rather well over the coming months though, so be patient darlings, be patient. But in the meanwhile, if you want to have a little lookies on Instagram and TikTok and Patreon, and of course keep watching on YouTube, you are most welcome to do so, you lovely saucies. Now, if you are watching on TikTok, this is always the part where we go to YouTube. So if you want to keep watching, please come and join us on YouTube. Type in GG Friday Posh Sauce and you will find me. Fast forward along to this bit, unless you want to watch it all again, which is, as always, fabulously cool. But if you don't want to watch that bit again, that's cool. Just skip it to this part and then we're all good. If you're watching on YouTube, you do not have to move your bottoms. You are more than welcome to sit there because you don't have to do anything if you're watching on YouTube. But if you're watching on TikTok, we love you. But come join us on YouTube, that's where it's happening. Do you know what I'm saying? All right. So, come and join us, TikTokers. Uh, if you are going to sign off, TikTokers, I will say goodbye to you for now, but please come and join us on YouTube. Just type in GG Friday and then Posh Sauce if you want to see some sauce pics. We've got flutes and boots coming. We've got handbag of the week. We've got boots or shoes of the week. I'm not telling you which one. And, of course, accessory of the week. We've got so much sauce coming. You cannot resist the sauce. So come and join us on YouTube. Pretty please love you forever. But if you don't want to, that's also cool because I love you too. Okay, so it's time to get into what next? Well, before we talk about the fashion, ladies and gentlemen, let's put on screen right now. You know what's coming next. Dot, dot, dot. Or... Actually, you might be like, Gigi, I've not seen the show before. I don't know what's coming next. In which case, that's slightly awkward. I do apologise. However, if you watched the previous episodes, you will know what's coming next. So back to screen graphics. You know what's coming next, dot, dot, dot. It's time for flutes and boots. So... Have you got your boots on, ladies? Are you ready with your flutes, gentlemen? Because it's flutes and boots time. And on that note, I'm going to get my flute. Now, last week I did promise that this week it might be a little bit of a saucy drink because it's posh sauce and that's what we do on posh sauce. So I've decided to go for a mocktail, which is a complete non-alcoholic cocktail. And I'm going to be showing you how to make it. Now, hopefully, ladies and gents, if you're joining us, you'll be able to make this in the house. Most of the ingredients you may have, one or two you may not. But it is time to go to flutes and boots. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Onwards and upwards we travel. Let's go. So I've temporarily put my microphone down and gone to the remote microphone because we're going to be making a gorgeous, gorgeous drink for our flutes. Have you got your flutes ready? If you haven't, go get it. If you haven't got a flute, it's okay. Go get one from the shops and join us next week for it. But you can watch this episode still, of course. That's completely cool. But flutes and boots. So 
I've kind of done a mislead on you. I've got a strawberry, so you're thinking right now, we're going to be doing strawberry drinks? No, it kind of works though with the drink we're going to be doing. So, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, you will need some tomato juice for this drink for flutes and boots. So, let's get the tomato juice. Bear with me a moment, I'm going to be getting up and down quite a bit. Okay, so, let's get the tomato juice. So we have our tomato juice. Now you can buy this from most stores. I got mine from Tesco's, but you can buy it from wherever. And of course they did not pay me to say anything. Oh, I will get bored of saying this eventually, but they didn't pay me, it's all good. And so ladies, the first ingredient and gentlemen, you are going to need some tomato juice. So I've already pre-opened it because I didn't want it popping all over my jodhpurs, which would not be good ladies and gentlemen. So let's just pop that out the way. Now, tomato juice. If you can, when you are pouring it, get a little bit over the strawberry, just for the fun. So we don't need loads, but just a little bit over the strawberry. And you don't want to go right to the top, but maybe about there. That should be good. And that is the start of this drink. Let's have a quick smell. Ooh, it smells very like tomato juice. What a shocker. <laughs> and now we go from the tomato juice to some sauce. So we do need some Tabasco sauce for this one. So let's pop that open. So there is the Tabasco sauce. Tabasco sauce, Tabasco sauce. Oh yes. Let's pop that out of the way for a moment. And I'm just going to pop this open to put a little bit of Tabasco, not loads, but a little bit of Tabasco in there. There we go. And then we're going to go from the Tabasco sauce over to some Worcester sauce. So we're going to pop open the old Worcester sauce, which might be interesting. Trying not to get this on the jodhpurs, trying not to. There we go. Some Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce. I'm not sure if there's any other brands, but if there are, just go buy them too, that's all cool. So a little bit of the old Worcester sauce in there, don't need loads. Fabulous. And we're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. We now need to add some other sauce. So no saucy drink would be complete without some tomato sauce. Now this sauce, is hot. It says it's actually hot. So it's not the original tomato ketchup sauce. It is the hot tomato ketchup sauce, which still has a lot of tomato ketchup in there. So we're going to put some of this in our saucy drink. So let's do this. Now this one you might not have at home because I believe it's fairly new on the market. But we're going to give it a good old shake for the tomato sauce. And then again, you don't need loads of this. So just a little bit of this sauce going in there. There we go. Perfecto. And then to give it even more of a kick, we're going to add a little bit of malt vinegar, which you'll find in most sauces. So it's quite after we're putting it in our drink here. Just a little bit of the old vinegar in there. Not loads, but a little bit. And then ladies, what we need to do is give it a good stir with either a cocktail stirrer, or in this case, just some straws. And then hopefully we've got a gorgeous drink ready, which I've called the Saucy Saucy, because it's full of sauce. What a shocker. So just a reminder, you need tomato juice. You absolutely need some vinegar in there. You need tomato sauce or the hot tomato sauce. Uh, then of course some Tabasco sauce and Worcester sauce. A very saucy saucy. Okay, so we've given that a good stir. Now before you enjoy the drink, you definitely need the strawberry because that smells good, and the sweetness of the strawberry is just so good. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, ooh. Mmm. And so after you've had the strawberry, which is so sweet and gorgeous, it's time to enjoy the saucy saucy. So saucy saucy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that does smell very saucy. Let's have a go. Oh, wow. That's got a good strickening kick. One does advise, don't have a big gulp of it, but you should be okay. But yeah, sip it and it's good. Let's have another sip of this saucy saucy. Whoa, that's good. If you like strickening drinks without the alcohol, this is going to hit the spot. Oh, and yeah. The saucy saucy, cheers everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bottoms up. So yes, if you have had a go at this gorgeous saucy saucy, get in touch and let me know what you thought. But it is extremely saucy, so in fact, I need another go. Oh, it's very tangy. Mm, very good. 
Oh yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to go into the sauce picks of the week. And are you ready for the sauce picks? Because we've got them coming up next. And on that note, it's time to get delving in to the sauce picks. Oh yeah. No, but I'm just going to have another quick sip of this one. Oh, it's so good. I don't want to put this down, but I have to. But it's so good. Oh yeah. Fabulous. Saucy, saucy. <laughs> okay, sauce picks, here we go. On screen graphics, sauce picks coming. Oh, yeah. And so let's delve into the sauce picks of the week. And the first sauce pick is this beautiful, gorgeous dress. Let's just take a moment and go, ah, oh, because it's so breathtakingly beautiful, isn't it? Because it is, it is so good. So let me talk to you what this dress is all about. And it's made by the fabulous Agua by Agua Bendita, which is the Anturio mini dress. So this is the Anturio mini dress. How fabulous is it? So there is the dress on the beautiful model. And how cool does the skirt element look? It's got a life of its own. It's got like a mind of its own. It's just floating in the air. It's all going, wow. Ah, that's what it's doing, really. It is. It's working. But yeah, the whole dress is just working with those beautiful flowers and colours. So let's talk about the details of the beautiful dress. So it's £647. And as mentioned, it's the Anturio mini dress because it's it's mini and it's Anturio. It's a dress. It's beautiful. And with that lovely tie at the back there, it looks fab. Now, this lady is wearing it with sandals, but of course you can wear it with anything you fancy. I'm thinking some high heel flowery shoes. Now, I haven't actually got one pair in mind, but I'm thinking a pair of high heels that's beautiful white with lots of flowers on. Kind of like those colours would make this dress go wow. Wouldn't wear it with the sandals, being honest with you. Wouldn't wear it with the sandals. But you can if you're going down the beach and you're like, I can't really wear stilettos on the beach. That's cool. I get where you're coming from. Sandals okay then. But for me, this is a statement dress with high heels. So get some high heeled shoes on that says flowery and something like the dress. But let's look at the dress. How cool is this dress? But yeah, it's only, like I say, £647. It's available in sizes extra small to extra large. And of course, you can add a little bit of an element to it with a sun hat, if you fancy the sun hat on there. I think that's got a nice vibe to it as well. With the high heels, though, get some high heels with it and you're laughing. I uh, don't think you need many accessories with this. You could wear a pretty little watch, but I don't think you need any accessories. I think the dress says what you need it to. But, of course, with the statement vibe going on, you could wear it on a night out. You could wear it anywhere you want to, because this is posh shows, and that's what we do. Statement fashion all the way. And so we go from this gorgeous dress over to our designer of the week. Now, I know I'm being a bit cheeky doing another feature from Louis Vuitton, but could not resist. I was like, I'm not going to put this one in the designer of the week part, but it's definitely a sauce pick. So here is the sauce pick from Louis Vuitton. So this ladies is the oversized belt embossed monogram leather jacket. So let's look at it in action. How bossy does she look by the way? She's looking cool, sassy and bossy in that gorgeous jacket. Oh yeah. So the jacket itself is fabulous and it's actually £5,800. So it definitely has a price tag that says fabulous. But yeah, let's talk about the actual oversized leather jacket. So it's very sleek, of course, leather, genuine leather. It's got a very shiny patina to it. And of course, with the emboss monogram motif on the outside and a silk monogram on the lining, it's all fabulous. So we've got leather, we've got silk, we've just got fabulousness. Now with that gorgeous belt detail, it says fabulous. Does it not? With that gorgeous leather belt, it's beautiful. Now you might have noticed there is a skirt as well. Now the skirt with the actual jacket is just a perfect combination. Let's look at the skirt, how beautiful and shiny and gorgeous it is. And with the LV detail actually on the skirt, it just says wowza. Not literally wowza, but it's metaphorically saying wowza. And of course, you've got to have the Louis Vuitton handbag. And of course, a beautiful jumper to go with it. But looking at the actual jacket itself for £5,800, it's black, it's regular fit. It is, of course, made in Italy. Italy, everything's made fabulous in that. 
and it's 98% calf skin and 2% lamb skin, but definitely 100% beautiful leather. Uh, and the skirt itself is £3,500, so £3,500 and then of course £5,800 for the jacket. So you put the two together and for the whole outfit you can get it for £9,300, which isn't a bad price con considering the combination. But yeah, that is one gorgeous, sassy, strong, powerful and feminine outfit that you can wear. But look at the actual detail on the zip of the skirt. The zip itself just goes wow. Then you look at the actual embossed leather it goes wow and with the jacket yes ladies and gentlemen you guessed it it went wow oh yeah with an exclamation mark at the end <laughs> but yeah Louis Vuitton you got it going on this is definitely one outfit to go for now of course it's quite a few pennies so if you've not got let's say ten thousand pound handy it might be a bit tricky to buy but it is still current, it is still fabulous, and if you want to buy it, you go buy it. And if you want to just admire it from a distance, that's cool too. But yeah, with the jacket and with the skirt, and of course a pair of boots to match, would be fabulous. Now, you'll notice with the boots, they've gone more casual. I personally would go for a very small boot with a high heel that's maybe patent leather, um, something that does stand out and go sharp and beautiful, but not too high. I think I'd go for a short boot as opposed to like a long casual boot, because um, I think it kind of makes the outfit too casual with the casual boots. So I would keep the jacket, I would keep the skirt, definitely keep the handbag, we love the LV handbags. But you want a high heel short boot that's very shiny. It doesn't have to be patent leather for me, but I think patent leather that goes with that outfit would just go wow. Oh yeah. The choice is yours ladies, but Louis Vuitton, as mentioned, you got it going on. And so we're going from that gorgeous Louis Vuitton, fabulous outfit, to what I think is a show-stopping outfit. I mean, this next outfit I'm going to show you is definitely going to make you go, wow, I'm going to be noticed in that. And that's exactly as you should be noticed, ladies. You must be noticed when you go out. So are you ready? This, for me, is one of the hot sauce picks. This is very hot sauce. Here it is.